It's Ben here, and here in this video we're going to have a look at how we control the fill and stroke for our shape. So maybe sometimes you've added a shape and it wasn't completely clear how to change the colour of it or remove the outline for your shape. That's what we're going to cover here. So first things first, we're going to come across to our toolbar on the left, and almost all the way down we have our rectangle tool. And you can see if we click and hold here, we also have things like the ellipse and triangle. We're just going to add a rectangle for the moment. So in order to create a shape with this tool, you'll need to make sure you've got shape selected up in the options bar here, rather than path or pixels. And this will create a vector shape that you can resize at any point in time. And I'm gonna change the fill color of this here. We'll come from the color picker, we'll choose a lime green, and then we're gonna click and drag out our rectangle. So if we can move back to the selection tool, you'll notice that all the options for our shape disappear up at the top here. So we can move our shape around, we can rotate it with a selection tool, but we lose that option to, to change the color up here. Now there's two ways to change the color. One is we can come to our rectangle tool again, and that will bring back to life those options up here where we can change the fill, and we can also change the stroke color and the stroke width. And we'll just change the color here. Let's create a green, and we'll just create a slightly darker green for that stroke. So we can change the color up there as long as we have the shape tool selected and the shape layer selected. If we have a different layer or no layer selected, so I've just clicked away from the rectangle and background in my layers panel, then essentially we can still move this and it will reselect it. But if we don't have it selected and we go back to our shape tool, then when we draw a new shape, it's gonna create a brand new layer. So we're not gonna have that same option to change the color of this shape. So the other option is with the selection tool, if we have our properties panel up on the right, then when we select it, we'll see those properties there as well. So we can change the fill here and we can also change the stroke and the stroke width as well. So there's a couple of ways in which we can modify the colors and the stroke of our shapes. You can see if we want to remove the stroke or the outline, we can just dial that all the way back down to zero. There'll be no stroke. If we want different kinds of stroke, then you can see, I'll just pull this up a little bit. You can see across the right here in the properties panel, we have options for dash strokes or dotted lines, and we can change how this is lined up as well. So you can see here, I can choose whether it's on the edge of the shape here, on the inside of the shape or on the outside of the shape. So you can choose where your lines will appear with respect to the edge of the shape. We also have this cool option for our dotted lines as well, where we can change the gaps and dashes. So if we go four, two, three, two, one, two, then you can see we get different length dashes around the outside. So we can modify the dashed lines and the distance between those dashed lines as well. So you can see I can control the spacing of those quite nicely. So again, with our select tool, if we click away, then we have our shape. We can select that again. We'll go back to the standard outline there. And if we come to these options here, you can see we've actually got some more options below. And in your panels on the right, if you double click a panel, it will minimize it. And that will allow us to have kind of more visible of those properties there. So I'm quite often double clicking to show and hide different panels here so I can make sure I can see all the different properties of those panels. So here we have the curved edges of our shape so we can control those here as well. And obviously then we can move it around and we're getting some snapping there for the alignment. So quick overview of how to change the color of a shape, also how to add curved edges. You can also change the curves of individual edges as well. So we can turn off the lock here and then we can also just have different curves on each of the edges. So we can create some quite cool shapes by controlling those properties as well within our properties panel across on the right. So you can create some neat shapes without having to draw all these curves yourself just from a basic rectangle. So hopefully this is useful. Tips for controlling your shapes and working with your shapes. If you do have any questions, then please do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.